Though Lewis only has an official population of about 3,500 residents, for much of the year, it's overrun with tourists from all over the Mid-Atlantic region. Lewis is close to some of the state's most popular beach resorts, and there are a number of state parks both in Delaware and neighboring Maryland and Virginia. Southern Delaware is known for its great fishing and surfing. It's also dotted with a variety of historic attractions, many of which date back more than two centuries to the time of the Revolutionary War. So, here is the list of 10 best things to do in Lewis, Delaware. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Cape Henlopen State Park One of the best things to do in Lewis, Delaware, is to spend time in Cape Henlopen State Park. It is the biggest outdoor recreation destination in the area, and it is open daily from the beginning of March to the end of November. The park encompasses a large stretch of beach that attracts many visitors throughout the year. Some of the popular activities visitors enjoy in this park include biking, surfing, fishing, and swimming. There are also campsites for those who want to stay overnight to spend a few days in the park and make the most of everything it offers. Number 2. Visit the Zwernendale Museum. The town's most remarkable building, the Zwernendale Museum looks like it came straight from the Dutch countryside and it's meant to. This unique museum, which was modeled after the town hall in Hun, Netherlands, was founded to commemorate the 300th anniversary of Delaware's first Dutch colony, Swarnendale, in what is now Lewis. The museum is filled with information about the area's history, beginning with its settlement by the Dutch West India Company in 1631 and continuing to modern day. Exhibits focus on maritime history, the shipwreck of the HMS debark just off the coast, fishing, and other topics. Number 3. Cannonball House. For lovers of history traveling on a budget, Lewis Cannonball House would be a great place to get a historical overview of the area without breaking the bank. Located on Front Street near the downtown area, it was originally built in the mid-1700s. Over the years, the historic house has served a variety of roles and is now the home of the town's historical society. It is full of interesting exhibits that touch on the Revolutionary War and the bombardment of the town by the British during the War of 1812. The house is open daily, and admission is just a few bucks per person. Number 4. The Lewis Historical Society Main Campus. You haven't truly experienced Lewis until you've taken a walk through the past at the Lewis Historical Society Main Campus. From the moment I set foot on the grounds, brimming with tangible history and beautiful architecture, I knew I was in for a treat. The museum is teeming with fascinating collections, from photographs to artifacts, it's like stepping into another era. I've spent countless hours in their research library, poring over the archives and taking in the rich history of our city. One of my favorite aspects of the Lewis Historical Society main campus is the historical sites that the society runs. The actors breathe life into the stories of the past, their knowledge of the time periods is just awe-inspiring. Number 5. Pirates of Lewis. If you have traveled to Lewis with children, a great activity to include in your vacation itinerary is having a nautical experience with Pirates of Lewis. It is a unique attraction that is probably the most fun you can have with your children in the area. The attraction involves heading out on the water on a pirate ship. During the boat trip, passengers can take part in various activities, including treasure hunts, sing-alongs, and water fights. The staff dresses up, and passengers also have the option to wear pirate-themed outfits. Number 6. The Historic Lewis Farmer's Market. 
The historic Lewis Farmers Market, the only producer farmers market in Lewis, is a non-profit association that provides a highly friendly meeting point for exchanging goods and services. The historic Lewis Farmers Market was founded by volunteers in 2000 and has consistently grown larger ever since. Visit the market if you want to purchase the freshest items and get a chance to fully incorporate into the city by mixing with locals, as it's one of the best things to do in Lewis, Delaware. There are no margins to what you can purchase, starting from fresh fruits, organic products, grass-fed meats, vegetables, and handmade pastries. The historic Lewis Farmers Market is an outlet to support local farmers, including businessmen and women in the community. Number 7. Lightship Overfalls. From the early part of the 19th century to the middle of the 20th century, more than 150 lightships were built along the mid-Atlantic coast. The lightship Overfalls is one of only a few remaining, and after major renovations, it's now open to public tours. The ship has been listed on the National Register of Historic Places for nearly a decade. During its career, it was used as a movable lighthouse to warn ships of dangerous reefs and of their proximity to land at night and when visibility was low. The ship is open seasonally, and professionally guided tours are available. Number 8. The Beach Plum Island Nature Preserve. Beach Plum Island Nature Preserve on the west side of the Roosevelt Inlet, is usually not crowded, making it an excellent place to spend time. The Beach Plum Island Nature Preserve is set apart by sea. This attraction is one of the existing unstructured sandbars excellent for various activities such as beachcombing, fishing, and hiking. The beach can only be accessed by the coastal highway or Route 1 through Broadkill Road. You may decide to walk around to collect some beautiful shells, which can serve as souvenirs for the time you spend here. Number 9. Bethany Blues. Lewis, Rehoboth Beach, and Bethany Beach are all known for having an abundance of dining options, and Bethany Blues is one of the area's favorite barbecue restaurants. The restaurant's founders traveled far and wide on their quest to find the country's best barbecue recipes, and most guests agree that they succeeded in doing just that. Their own brand of barbecue takes the best of Texas, Tennessee, and the Carolinas, and their menu features everything lovers of great Q come to expect, like ribs, burnt ends, and pulled pork sandwiches. They are known for their tasty sides too, like mac and cheese and country-style green beans. Number 10. The Cape May Lewis Ferry. Go on a ride with Cape May Lewis Ferry if you want to explore the city more excitingly. The Cape May Lewis Ferry regularly goes across Lewis to Cape May, offering visitors some of the most amazing experiences. The ferry's journey is a wonderful 20-mile pilgrimage that leads to Cape May, a beautiful city in New Jersey. During this journey, visitors sight dolphins and other marine species within Delaware Bay. The ferry could easily carry about 100 cars and over 600 persons from one junction to the other. The Cape May Lewis Ferry features indoor and outdoor seating where visitors enjoy delicious meals and beverages. Number 11. Rehoboth Art League. Lewis and the neighboring town of Rehoboth Beach both have thriving art communities, and they are home to multiple art galleries. The best one to visit is the headquarters of the Rehoboth Art League, where you will find a unique attraction called the Doors of Fame. It is an art installation that consists of multiple doors that are inscribed with the names of artists. The list starts as far back as the 1930s and includes current artists from the local area. In addition to the Doors of Fame, you can check out the paintings and sculptures by local and regional artists in the permanent exhibition. Number 12. Nassau Valley Vineyard. Delaware's first winery, Nassau Valley Vineyard is conveniently located just off the coastal highway. Since 1993, 
They have made award-winning wines that visitors can sample on site. A tasting includes samples of four wines, or you can enjoy a bottle at one of the picnic tables on the grounds. Our favorites were Meadows Edge White, a semi-dry combination of Seville Blanc and Vidal Blanc, and Laurel's Red, a semi-dry wine made from Chamberson. Sundays are a popular time to visit the vineyard when you'll find the local farmers market there from mid-May to mid-October. In addition to the vendors, there is live music and even a sangria bar. The last word. So, guys, this was the best list of things to do in Lewis, Delaware. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. In this comprehensive guide, we've melded insights from locals and travelers to present you with a mosaic of experiences that define this remarkable place. While we've highlighted some must-visit spots, it's imperative to understand that these recommendations are shaped by personal opinions and experiences. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripoir is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the US. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you.